Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a very easy way to install Exchange Server 2010 on Windows Server 2008 Service Pack 2. To do this, we need to do two things. One is install all the prerequisites for Windows 2008 Service Pack 2 before you can run the setup. And the second one is prepare Active Directory and Forest Root Domain for Exchange 2010. Since this is the easiest way to do it, all you need to do is click on the link in the description box. And here you have an ISO image and a zip file of a batch file already pre-configured to install all the prerequisites for Exchange 2010. Once you save it in your desktop, all you need to do is right click and extract it here. Now since this tutorial is on Windows Server 2008 Service Pack 2, we're gonna run open the folder Service Pack 2. But if you're running R2, you also have a pre-configured batch file. Now once you open it, run the EX2010 Turbo batch file. This install all the necessary prerequisites to install Exchange Server 2010, including the .NET framework. Now I'm going to fast forward this so you can look at the installation. Once it finishes installing all the prerequisites, the server will restart automatically. Now once it restarts, we're going to prepare Active Directory and the Forest Root Domain for Exchange 2010 and set the organization name of our Exchange organization which exists one time per Active Directory Forest and prepare the Forest Root Domain. Now to do this, click on Start, Run, type D colon which is the destination of the Exchange CD backslash setup forward slash prepare ad forward slash organization name colon and then you can set the exchange organization name i decided is avoid errors but you can choose whichever one you like now it's telling me to press any key to cancel setup please don't press don't cancel the setup just let it run now i'm going to fast forward this Prepare AD is run on the forest root domain in Active Directory. All other domains that are going to contain exchange servers or recipients need to run the setup slash prepare domain switch. Once it finishes, you can run the exchange 2010. Just click on start. Computer and double click on the specified drive. Now here under install, expand, choose exchange language option and in my case I'm gonna select install only languages from the CD and then click on install Microsoft Exchange. Now in the uh, server setup Click next. Now here accept the uh, license agreement and click next. I'm going to select no to the error reporting. Remember this is a tutorial. Then click next. Now here I'm going to select the first one up here which is going to install the hub transport server, the client access server, the mailbox server, an exchange management tool in my drive C program files Microsoft Exchange Server v14 now if we was to be doing this on a real-life install I would recommend you to install it on a different drive other than drive C and click next now it's asking me if I have any client computers running Outlook 2003 and this is very possible so I'm gonna select yes and click next Put a check mark where it says client access server rule will be internet facing. This is just in case your client will 
have access to their email via internet. So now we have to put the uh, fully qualified domain name of how the server is going to be listed on the internet. In my case is mail.avoiderrors.net and click next. In the uh, customer experience improvement program I'm going to select I don't wish to join the program and click next. In the readiness checks window you should get everything with a green check mark. That means that you have installed all your prerequisites correctly. Now all you need to do is click install and everything would be just fine. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. Feel free to email me if you have any questions. Thank you.